Global warming is an average increase in temperature around the world. During the past 100 years, the average temperature of the Earth has increased by 1 degree Fahrenheit. Experts say that over the next 100 years, it may increase by an additional 2 to 6 degrees. Due to an increase in temperature, many climatic and geographic conditions are bound to change. Maybe this beautiful land will become waterfront one day. Many endangered animals will become extinct. With the warmer earth, there may be a disastrous impact on humans, wildlife, vegetation, sea levels, and weather patterns. That's the Los Angeles skyline! The tornado just came in a race to the Hollywood side. What exactly are you proposing, Professor? Evacuate everyone south of that line. What about the people in the north? If they go outside, the storm will kill them. There is a wall of water coming towards New York City. Their best chance is to stay inside pray. The layers of gases known as the atmosphere surround Earth. When sunlight reaches the atmosphere, it can be reflected, absorbed, or reach the Earth. The Earth then is warmed and radiates back the heat. Some of this heat does not escape the atmosphere and thus remains trapped inside what we call the greenhouse gases. The greenhouse effect is a natural process that warms the Earth by having its greenhouse gases absorb infrared radiation. Without it, Earth would be too cold to have living species. Earth has a balance of greenhouse gases that keeps Earth at an average temperature. Greenhouse gases are not harmful until they are present in too great a concentration. The natural greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, and ozone. Over the past years, there has been an increase in the events that produce these gases. For instance, carbon dioxide comes from the burning of fossil fuels such as oil, coal, and gas. Many industries burn fossil fuels for their manufacturing needs as well as for lighting and heat just as we do in our homes. Also, our family cars for energy burn gasoline, which is hydrocarbon fuel, refined from oil. All the trees and rainforests being burned today release excessive amounts of carbon dioxide and smoke. Another group of greenhouse gases are chlorofluorocarbons. For short, they are called CFCs and can be very dangerous. CFCs include hairspray and freon in refrigerators. Once released into the atmosphere, they form holes in the ozone layer, allowing too many UV rays to reach Earth. All these greenhouse gases are causing global warming. Due to the increase in pollution, more greenhouse gases are produced and released, trapping too much heat. It appeared. A thick cloud of pollutants hangs over the harbor. The sun can't get through. There's no wind to blow the smog away. Experts say some of the pollution comes from over the border in China. Global warming poses various problems to mankind. Summers and winters in the United States and around the world are becoming warmer. The 2006 January to August period was the warmest on record for the continental U.S. Another effect of global warming is rising sea levels. Due to high temperatures, glaciers are melting more rapidly than they were 100 years ago, causing sea levels to rise. Low-lying lands, such as Long Island, are now at risk of flooding. In Antarctica, 87% of the 244 marine glaciers have retreated over the last 50 years, a new study says. The average retreat of each glacier was approximately 600 meters. This video clip shows a dramatic satellite view of an iceberg the size of Long Island breaking off from the coast of Antarctica due to increased temperatures and literally crumbling away. Animals adapt to their environment and habitat. With changing climatic conditions, food may become scarce for animals, causing extinction. Polar bears, for instance, will have a warmer environment and may have difficulty finding food. Furthermore, farmers have crops that grow better in warm weather, while others do better in colder climates. Potatoes are now growing in areas of Greenland where just 20 years ago it was too cold. This climate change can alter the geographic distribution of crops and may result in food shortages and hunger in some parts of the world. In addition, global warming brings about more catastrophic storms. It may cause the intensity of storms, such as hurricanes, to increase due to the fact that warmer ocean waters fuel hurricanes. This may be why Hurricane Katrina was so intense. 
Global warming is only a serious problem because we have made it one. There are many safer options to fulfill our needs and slow down the production of greenhouse gases. Since most of the pollution in the atmosphere is from man-made products, we need to create other energy sources. For instance, instead of running our cars and gas, hydrogen or electricity can be used for this energy. This does not pollute or harm our environment. Also, riding a bike guarantees both exercise and the same transportation as a car would provide. Another option to preserve our Earth is to use public transportation. This way, there are fewer cars on the road emitting less pollutants. Everyone can also recycle, which would allow less energy to be used for more production. If more trees are planted, the trees could absorb more carbon dioxide. There has been a documented rise in the average global temperature over the last 100 years. Global warming is being caused by human actions and will only be slowed down by human actions. The greenhouse gases are emitted from fossil fuels, hairspray, and various other sources. Global warming is causing rising sea levels and the extinction of endangered species. Recycling, riding a bike, energy conservation, and using cleaner fuel sources are just a few ways in which to keep our environment stable. This is a serious problem and must be looked at as a threat to our environment. How are you going to save the world?